Congratulations, Badger Art students. You're halfway there. This is video number three, the most exciting video. We're going to learn how to make worms. He's trying to trick us. No, oh, really? You're going to like this. Worms are cool. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is think about a path that starts from your vanishing point. Your worm is going to need to interact with all of your boxes. Start with a line from your vanishing point to one of your closest boxes. Your worm will need to come together and meet at your vanishing point and appear to vanish. You will connect your holes using two lines. It's important that your lines start and end at the edges of your holes. Also note that our worms should appear to be getting larger as they get closer to us and smaller as they get further away. This effect can be achieved simply by making your lines further apart. Now it's time to erase any lines that are inside of our worm. The goal is to make our worms appear to be round, so we're going to want to use round lines. The easiest way to do this is to start with your pencil inside the outer line. Watch how I start on the outside of the worm, curve my line, back into the other side of the worm. How satisfying is that? Let's see that again. I'm starting on the outside of my worm. I'm curving and drawing back into the other side of the worm. I got worms. Now we'll continue planning our path through the rest of our project. If you're going too fast and trying to do this project in time lapse like I am, you might see that your lines start to get straight like a railroad track. That's a big no-no. Keep it curvy, people.
You can use a ruler for this next step, but I find that the best tool to use is a T-square. It looks like this and it locks into the side of your table to create perfect vertical lines. It's helpful that your paper is taped down square with the edge of your table. Starting next to my vanishing point, I'm going to begin to make vertical lines. And these vertical lines should gradually be getting further and further apart from each other. We'll simply do the same thing on the other side of our vanishing point. Finally, Sharpie marker. Well, that's it for worms. Stay tuned to video number four where we'll learn how to add color to this project.